Guys, I think I'm gonna vlog. I think I'm vlogging today. And at a certain point, I'm just like, tears. Don't mind me, just act like I'm not here. Natural. Look who my booth partner is. What happened to this one? I now censor, censor. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to The Sorry Life. I know we don't get to vlog too often, but I really do miss it sometimes. And I have what potentially could be an exciting week slash like weekend. So I thought, why not vlog? Basically, I'm here in LA. I decided to work remotely for a couple weeks. The team is coming down next week or the week after um, because we're doing a collab with a YouTuber, doing a room makeover. And then there's more stuff to come. We're also going to Joshua Tree. So it's gonna be a fun couple little weeks. And um, I've already been here for two weeks. We rented, we being me and Elliot, rented um, this Airbnb. It's very cozy, like it feels very homey. We can do laundry here, we like cook here. It's a nice little home away from home. But anyways, I've been busy filming videos and just like working remotely. It actually is like, I'm just working from a different place. There's still a lot of work to be had, including today. I'm actually prepping for an event that I got invited to by YouTube. I honestly don't really know what to expect. It's like flea market meets press event, meets other YouTubers, meets sustainability and showing the press how certain different creators upcycle clothing, something like that. So my idea, because they're like, you get a tent, you can like decorate it. I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's go. I like got very excited. I made a Pinterest board and I need to like go pick up some things for my presentation to the press. I'm excited because I, I want to have like a vibe going on, but obviously that means that we're hitting the thrift store. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm presenting in a bit. Okay, this is so weird. I haven't vlogged in so long. It's good. I feel like this is gonna be good for me. I need to figure out what to wear. It's a little toasty in LA, so um, I'm gonna keep it simple. I got these glasses on the real real. They're Saint Laurent, I believe. And they're like heart, mirror, reflectors. So I feel like I can do a simple outfit, but then just pop these on. Basic, but comfy and um, that's what matters. Also, I think we're starting to mix brown and blacks these days, so I'm kind of here for that, and I'm gonna do that. Okay, so essentially my idea for um, what to present at this PR event <laughs> is a way to cover up stain. I feel like that's one of the reasons why I move on from a piece is because I got like a stain on it, whether it's paint, although I keep that and then that becomes like my working clothes, but paint, like a lot of oil, honestly, a large amount of wine um, stains. So anyways, I'm gonna show people ways to upcycle this. My three methods are like adding patches to cover the stain. I've done that before, OGs will remember that. Cropping an item, like basically cutting off the stain and then like painting, adding a design. Inspired a little bit by Rachel's video recently where she painted jeans. So I've actually found some pieces today that are stained. So I'll be picking those up. I'm kind of trying to stick to a color scheme, which I'm sure you can kind of tell. Then I will be upcycling a few items to present at this event. I'm excited, I'm having fun with it. You know, I still haven't found what I really want, which is checkered i found pants that were really checkered but i'd love like a checkered tablecloth that's in like green or purple so i'm on the hunt for that maybe i have to make it i'm gonna go through my pieces now though which which i'm keeping what i'm not Okay, that first stop was a success. I got lots of pieces. What is not successful is that there was no bathroom 
And I'm just going to say here that I think public bathrooms should be like mandatory. I remember Googling this once and I heard that in Italy, a business has to let somebody use their bathroom, which is, I don't know if that's true, but I just feel like that should be the thing because it's so annoying when you have to pee and you're just like shopping. I just think they should be mandatory because I think it would bring a lot of comfort to many people. Okay, but I do have to hit up a second thrift store. I need a couple more brown pieces and then I have to go to Michael's in order to get um, some fabric paint for my upcycling process. <gasps> yeah, okay, let's roll. Bookstore and donation center. That is a fake thrift store. Michael's is around the corner though, so I'm gonna go there next. They will definitely have a bathroom, right? All these pieces that I got a lot of them actually have stains some of them have stains and I'm going to be painting some of them for both a YouTube short and for this event I know it's kind of random because it is but I'm really excited I have an idea for what to do to these I got these yesterday Elliot's making me coffee even though I don't drink coffee so I can spill it on here so that I can paint over it um, I know that's a little backwards, but anyways. Also, what else is happening? Okay, I picked up a bunch. Yes, sir? It's a good thing we cleaned the kitchen before you started this. You know what? It's natural. It is natural. And I was gonna clean it, I just didn't feel like cleaning it yet. You guys see how I live and I'm okay with that. I do have to put this away. Elliot made lunch, so I, I have to clean, you know? Anyways, where was I? Okay, I also picked up a bunch of different vases and stuff that I just found a local florist. Actually, Rochelle found one. I was like, Rochelle in Toronto, can you find me a local florist in Manhattan Beach? Just because I had a really busy day before right now. Anyways, I have some vessels that I thrifted that a local florist is coming by to pick up because she's gonna put a bunch of Gerber. Is that how you say it? Gerber baby babies. Wait, 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 wait. Gerber daisies? But like, what about Gerber babies? What about them? <laughs> Anyways. We're gonna put daisies in it because that is the vibe. My patches came in. It looks something like this. So pretty. And this is one of my methods to cover a stain. Literally this shirt has a stain. I don't know if you can see it right there, but I thought this like brown butterfly could be super cute on it. Ah, so 2000s, so 2000s. Okay, let's start DIYing. Look at this vibe. Look at this vibe. I I thrifted. I'm so obsessed. I have my camera set up doing match cuts, so I need to film on my phone, but I'm on the ground. I have a little star template that was way harder to make than you think it would be. And now I'm just gonna throw some brown paint on here. Cover up my little coffee stain here. Next up, this is my little filming station. I finished my projects, I think for today, at least the ones for the short, and then I just need to do a couple more things for like this actual flea market event. And it is sunset, as you can see. So I think we should go for a walk.
Do we get snacks at the brewery? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. But then we make curry later? Or it's not curry. Ice cream and beer. Ice cream and beer and snacks? Yeah. I think it's all It's hard to just place. stay in and not spend money when you're in a new place. <laughs> this is not what I want to do. I ordered a s stupid fruity cocktail. That's a paper straw. We all know this is falling apart. Speaking of, do we good? I need a pina colada. I need a pina colada. Don't act like you have I don't want no drama. And if you give it to me nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna give it to her twice, twice, twice. Yes, you just want to take it. You got to do it in a minute. Okay. 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 Who my booth partner is? Dora. We're having so much fun here. I know. Being creative. She's got bling. Yes. <laughs> But look at your thing. So I know, I, cute. I'm learning so much. Like this is so cool. I love this. Except idea. my paint is like it's like blue. It's Isn't it's it? so hot here. It's nice and warm in LA. I know. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh my god, you're so hard at work over here. I know, I feel like I'm being quiet, but I'm just focused. Oh. A true artist. Oh. I'm making some clouds. I mean, at least the paint is drying quickly for you. It's drying so fast, but also it's drying on my paint. I know, me too. So it's like, uh. And I am at this very moment. <laughs> cute with a little camera. How cute. Honestly, hardest worker here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. What happened to this one? She got sold? <laughs> Oh yeah, she's naked now, I know, I know, censor, censor. <laughs> she's my demo girl, some people have to like do one, I'm like, oh, I need, I, need a, I need a girl to volunteer herself. I actually really like this one, I feel like it's yeah, we'll unique, it. yeah. She's cute. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of other um, actual flea shops here, in addition to the creators doing their thing, that we can like kind of shop, which is sick. Oh. Like, come on. <laughs> Did I just buy stuff? <laughs> okay, I'm not leaving LA, but I am leaving this Airbnb and this man's. Just kidding. He's gonna come with me. But <laughs> this is the first time I've actually stayed at a Verbo. I really liked it. And it was a longer term rental, also probably the time I stayed at like the longest at a place. This was like three weeks. It was good vibes, but now we're gonna go to the San Francisco area, San Jose, to see my best friend who lives there. So let's go catch a flight. Oh, I never did do a house tour. Oh well. <laughs> Here's the verbal link <laughs> to house tour yourself. Uh, I have some explaining to do. <laughs> so I went to San Jose. I saw my friend Ariana. We hiked. We went to Top Golf. She tried on my overalls that I made. She looks fabulous in them. She currently still has those overalls because she killed it. Looks so good. I love them on her. We went out for dinner. <laughs> and that night we went to a place. I'll put it on screen here. It's really cute. I wish I could have eaten there, but I was in pain. So we're there with like my friends, Elliot's friends. We're catching up. I'm just in the corner like this the whole time because I have a pain in like my upper abdomen. It's moving its way to like my chest and left side. And I'm like, I think this is just heartburn. Like I've had this before. I'm like popping some things that would help that. It's not helping. I'm going for walks like in the parking lot in the pitch black with Ariana. We're doing like lion's breath or whatever breathing. We're like <sighs> trying to get this pain to go away. 
and it doesn't go away and it just keeps getting worse and at a certain point i'm just like tears i think it was a combination of it really hurt <laughs> it hurt really bad and also i was just having a little bit of a panic attack because i felt like we were at this dinner away from like you know where we were staying for the night we were with friends and i felt like you know i couldn't leave and i was gonna ruin things because of this pain i was having anyways <laughs> we left the place and as soon as i laid down in the uber like i literally laid down it went away and i went to urgent care in the morning just to be safe because we had a big week coming up with becky and the team coming to town and makeovers so i was just like if this is anything bad i want to make sure that I'm good for this next week because I have a really important week. <laughs> I go to the urgent care walk-in and they're like, <laughs> she just like spends two minutes with me. She's like, mm-hmm, yeah, like listens with the thing. And she's like, yeah, that's just, you had some really bad acid reflux. And I was like, okay, cool. That's, that's totally what I thought. It was just like really bad. <laughs> it was really bad yesterday. Anyway, so now I carry Tums with me. So there's that. And I won't do a hot orange water in the morning, which is what me and Ariana did because there was no lemon, but I feel like lemon would be just as bad. Anyways, so that was my weekend. I'm sorry I didn't vlog a lot, but also I just wanted to spend some time with my friends. Came back to LA, did the thing with Becky and the team makeovers, collabs, meeting with different creators, had a fantastic couple weeks. And they just left this morning from um, the Airbnb we were staying at, which was bad vibes. It just, the Airbnb gave us the wrong address. Their, the pool, I mean, it looked dirty, but technically it wasn't dirty, but it just didn't look great. The curtains were sheer, which I, I just didn't love that, especially cause like this pool person would come sometimes in the morning and like my bedroom's right there. And I was like, ah, just some kind of weird vibes there. And then the last night worms came out of the shower in the drain. They should get a plumber in there. And I'm afraid it's gonna be a high bill because like what has to happen in order for worms to come outside, come out of your drain. Oh, also like my bed sheets were dirty when I got there. I just like wouldn't recommend. And there was like no hangers, no cutlery, and we were renting a house. Becky had to flip an egg with a fork, with a knife. There was cutlery, there just wasn't. What are the things called that aren't cutlery? Kitchen utensils, just larger kitchen utensils? Anyways, I am glad to have left that place. I am now at an Airbnb by myself for a couple days. Essentially killing some time working remote until I go to the desert for the first time visiting Joshua Tree. I know this is just a lot of talking, but um, I just wanted to catch you guys up and potentially save this vlog because I know I just like, just peaced out. But let me give you a little tour of this herb. You walk in this front door, look how beautiful that glass is. And here's the little living room. It's just a little studio kitchen but so perfect for what I need right now here's the bedroom over here the bathroom really isn't anything to write home about but it's huge like that's so big and then we got views baby yes lemon tree the vibes here are much better I feel for the team because the weather had been so just not classic LA. It had been really cold and cloudy the last couple weeks and this is like such a nice day and this is the day that Becky and Nina are leaving so I'm really sad that they didn't get some nice weather while they were here but at least it was warmer than Toronto, less snowy than Toronto. So I think tonight I'm going to actually go on a couple of errands and then I'm gonna hike up to the Griffith Observatory. I've never been. I've heard good things. We're all a fan of La La Land. I just feel like it's something that I need to do and it's actually not too far from where I am. And usually I feel like I'm staying on like the west side of, of Los Angeles. So it's amazing that I'm so close. So I'm definitely gonna do that. I booked myself a little dinner. I found a restaurant that had some good reviews. So I'm just so excited. It's a good day, guys. I feel like this angle makes this place look way more cottagey than it actually is. But um, I want to shout out my friend Andrea for giving me this dress in our friend clothing exchange. You guys don't do friend clothing exchanges. I highly recommend them. It's just a nice way to like shift around clothing because sometimes you just wear an item a lot and then we get tired of it. I totally understand. I wish that wasn't the way, but it's nice to be able to just like cycle clothing between friends. This one 
I don't think she really wore much. I think it's from Free People, and I feel like it's a little big on me, but then as soon as I belted it, I was like, oh, it works. And then these boots I thrifted a while back. Now it feels excessive because it's really warm in LA, but I thought this could be a cool desert look. Can you tell I'm excited for Joshua Tree? Will I make it before sunset? Guys, my water tastes like soap. It's the worst. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. Um, so it's gonna be a date night for one tonight, but not at Enkento. I'm going to Little Dom's. Don't know it, but they had spots. This is one of my favorite things. Um, it's like I could eat it like every day. So good. Last night's dinner was also really good. Um, that place was super busy. I think it's good, but I, it's sad eating alone sometimes because then you don't get to try multiple things on the menu. I like ordering, you know, a bunch of things and kind of sharing with everybody. Um, but yeah, it's really good. And I've just like loved being here so much. I don't know about you guys, but I really need alone time. And I've realized this after, you know, first of all, I don't, I don't live with Elliot back home. So we were at that Airbnb together, which I just wasn't, I mean, I loved it, but I just wasn't used to not be, not having any like real alone time. And then we went right into like the team being here. So this is like my first time just like really being alone in a while and it's really nice. But I also really love this place. I will link it down below for you guys. I will definitely not link the last place, but um, the host here is just so sweet and very accommodating. So yeah, just good vibes. Good vibes, guys. Okay, let's eat. Sensitive. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this vlog. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but I appreciate you being here and let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more vlogs, maybe a little bit more structured next time. As you can see, I ended up going to Joshua Tree as the last stop before leaving California and it definitely lived up to the hype. It was, it was so good. I highly recommend it. See you next time, bye.